Mary Kathleen Collins, or better known as Bo Derrick, rose to enviable heights in Hollywood after her feature in the 1979 romantic comedy film The Ten. Immediately after, her Bo Derrick's career went straight into the gutters after this feature. Why? Why did Bo Derrick's career suddenly die? In this video, we will be looking at the real reasons why Bo Derrick's acting career sank faster than it rose. Bo Derrick started acting at the young age of 17. According to her, she didn't like school very much and would sneak out of school to go to the beach. In fact, her mother caught her one time and she got really angry about her bad behavior. Bo Derrick would eventually return to school. A year later, she fell in love with director and filmmaker John Derrick, who was almost three decades older than she was. Interestingly, John was married at that time to actress Linda Evans. While many argue that John played a vital role in her rise to stardom, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Regardless, here's why Bo Derrick's career fell off. String of bad luck. Bo Derrick was 16 when she and John Derrick met and deeply fell in love. However, that didn't stop anything, as John Derrick would later divorce his wife and move to Germany with his newly found lover, Bo Derrick, where he won't be limited by the California statutory rape laws since Bo was under the age of consent at that time. The duo would later be joined together in marriage and were together until John died of heart failure in 1998. While they were together, Bo Derrick would begin filming with her husband on his romantic drama series, The John Derrick Fantasies. She played Anastasia, the beautiful Greek girl. Even after John re-edited the movie twice so he could sell it to big studios, the movie was still a failure. They would give it another shot in 1984 in the movie Bolera, which featured Bo Derrick and was directed by her husband. The movie received an X rating later on for heavy use of nudity. The movie tanked as well and even won Derrick her second Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Actress, while her husband won the Worst Director Award that same year. They would take a five-year break from films and return with the drama comedy Ghosts Can't Do It in 1989. Tragically, this was Derek's last collaboration with her husband, and the movie didn't do so well also. It was received poorly, and Derek and her husband lost a lot of money. The movie won the Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Picture. Derek got her third Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Actress. Her husband bagged the Worst Director Award, and Donald Trump went home with the Worst Supporting Actor Award. John Derek's Influence Many people argue that John exploited Bo Derrick by having her in films where her main role was to end up naked. In 1978, when she was featured in the movie Ten, which gave her the spotlight, Bo Derrick's acting was incredible, and her body shape was also noticed as well. Partnership with John was the beginning of the end for her. Sadly, she allowed John to take over her career, and by the mid-80s, no one took her seriously as an actress. Bo's acting career should teach young actresses to be their own person and, of course, stick to nude scenes that are only relevant to the movie. If at all, they would do that. Bo Derrick doesn't regret getting married to John at such a young age, even after the tragedy it brought to her career. She told Vanity in an interview, It felt right at that time. I was so in love with him and we were together for 25 years. I'm just so grateful. He was a good person. What is she doing now? In 2002, she met actor John Corbett, and they started a relationship. The duo tied the knot in December 2022. She's also been very active in politics in recent years, campaigning for Bush Jr. and former President George W. Bush would later appoint her to be the operations manager for the John F. Kennedy Center of Performing Arts. Derek has also expressed her love and passion for horses. She currently owns an animal welfare institute to end horse slaughter. She also published her autobiography a few months ago, which she titled, Everything That Matters In Life I Learned From Horses. Bo Derrick, now 65, still has the charming and alluring personality we all fell for when she made her film debut. And according to Celebrity Net Worth, she's estimated to be somewhere around $40 million. Now it's your turn. Do you have any fond memories of the actress? Please share your thoughts in the comments. And while you're at it, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe for more celebrity stories like this. As always, thank you for watching.